Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Rhonda Williams. I'm the executive director of M Seminars, and we're here at uh, Canada College Vancouver once again for a wonderful seminar. We have uh, Tiffany Chi and Joe Kenny here with us to speak on the global skills strategy or the global talent stream. Is this the right fit for your client? So uh, they're going to have uh, about three hours. There will be a 15 minute break partway through. We'll take questions all the way along. Um, if anybody online wants to send questions to info at M Seminars, then I will get the questions and read them out. And if anybody in the room has questions, we can take questions all the way through. I'll give you the microphone to ask the questions. And I just want to remind everybody that we do have a sponsor, Canada College Vancouver, where we are today. And they provide things like the IELTS exam preparation for any of your clients who might need that or anybody else you know who needs an IELTS for immigration or for anything else. And so please don't hesitate to send them along here to Canada College Vancouver. So I'll leave it to you two to go ahead. And I think you're going to go, be going back and forth. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're just yeah. going to share the yeah. delivery of this presentation. Thanks, Rhonda. No, sorry. OK. Um, so tonight we're going to talk about the uh, global skills strategy and uh, and how it works and uh, when it's useful for your clients. Um, it's part of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. It's delivered jointly by Service Canada and uh, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Um, so in the course of doing one of these applications, you're dealing with two different ministries, which sometimes can be a challenge. Um, this is a relatively new program. I think they just celebrated, uh, uh, in terms of the press releases, a, a one-year anniversary. Um, this, the, this government, the Liberal government, has been quite uh, aggressive in promoting this program. Um, I think they see it as um, a, uh, a benefit to the country economically, and it's one that uh, uh, is in keeping with, their, I think, their overall economic strategy about, um, you know, um, trying to grow uh, high-tech uh, sectors of the economy and things like that. So, I mean, part of this program, I think, has been, a, has been uh, you know, a marketing thing for the government. It's not entirely new. They're doing, thing, new, they're doing things in, in a different way, slightly. But, um, you know, so you, you need to be skeptical in terms of the, the, the information that comes out from the government on this program in terms of its effectiveness. I think there are some positives and there's some negatives, and we're going to get into that. Um, but uh, it, it's not uh, it's not remaking the landscape in any significant way. I don't think it's a uh, it's a way to tweak uh, the existing program to benefit certain uh, sectors of the economy, really, and to facilitate uh, the entry of foreign workers uh, for those sectors. So um, I guess we'll get into it and sort of introduce it and. Uh, trying to give you some of our uh, experience, uh, share some of our experience with the program. We haven't done a huge number of, of global skills cases since the program's only been around for a year, but we've done enough to get a flavor of it. Um, and we've been doing, uh, Tiffany and I work together, we've been doing uh, LMIAs or whatever they're called, I have for, for over 20 years. Uh, and in fact, I was trying to remember what they were called when, when, when I started doing them in, in the late 90s and I can't even remember because there's been so many name changes over the years. Um, Same with Service Canada, really. What are they calling themselves now? <laughs> yeah, same. yeah, the ministry changes uh, yeah. uh, as often as the name of the, uh, the, uh, the LMIA. Anyway, uh, anything else you want to add? I just we... wanted to add that um, I kind of see this particular LMIA category, the um, global skills strategy, as the promised land. So if you can get to the promised land, then you'll be able to come to Canada, usually within a month's time. Um, hopefully, in the best case scenario. Okay. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, so today's agenda is uh, an introduction to global skill strategy and the global talent stream. We'll talk about the background of the program, uh, the LMIA process. Uh, an LMI exempt process, or rather a discussion of that process. Uh, work permit exemptions under the global skill strategy. Work permit application processes, your employer's eligibility 
um, the job offer that the employers should be given to uh, the foreign workers. Research and preparation practice tips included uh, in that section. The interview process with Service Canada officers, uh, which involves yourself and the employer as well. The progress review, which is sort of like the follow up that Service Canada will conduct um, every six months with the employer to make sure that they're still on track with the application process. Okay, so starting with a quick background on the Global Skills Strategy again, as Joe said, this program um, is quite new. It was announced in 2016 by the Minister of Finance. And it was formally introduced on June 12, 2017 as a two-year pilot program. So we're um, halfway there, and at, by the end of next year, I assume, um, the federal government will undertake a review of the results and of the processes in general. The Global Skills Strategy is designed to help Canadian businesses recruit highly skilled professionals from around the world. It's not country specific or targeted at any particular nationality. Um, the focus is really to emphasize um, employers having top global talent joining their firms. Um, the employers themselves, uh, the Canadian employers, um, need to be uh, an innovative firm. Uh, they need to plan on creating job opportunities and investing in creating job opportunities for Canadians and permanent residents. And of course, to generate growth for the company. So the whole purpose of having these high skill, um, top global talent for workers coming into Canada is to allow them to grow as a Canadian innovative firm. Can you give some examples or will you give some examples later of the type of people, the type of jobs? Okay, so the Global Skills Strategy also streamlined um, certain aspects of the LMA um, application process. In this industry, everybody has already worked on a certain, to a certain degree on LMA applications, and everybody already knows how LMA applications um, work and the process itself. So the Global Skills Strategy streamlined certain aspects of the LMA uh, application process. It also introduced a short-term work permit exempt category of foreign workers. And these foreign workers do not need work permits to undertake very short-term assignments in Canada. And we'll get into that as well. So the Global Skills Strategy also removed previous advertising exceptions for digital media occupations. And um, I think in my opinion, this is probably the only con of the Global Skills Strategy because previously um, employers who were um, applying for LMIAs for uh, applicants in digital media occupations um, so animators, digital artists, um, and software developers in that industry did not require um, any proof of advertising uh, before they can submit the LMIA application. But on a regular temporary foreign worker LMIA now, um, employers who are not applying under the global skill strategy will have to advertise for those occupations. So in my opinion, that's the only con for this program. And that was only in... On um, BC, wasn't it? That was only in BC as well, but BC had a huge um, film and entertainment industry. So um, it was a huge blow to many employers. Just a, a word on the, the terminology, uh, global skills strategy, global talent stream. Um, they seem to be sort of used interchangeably, but I think what the difference is the global skills strategy is the overall um, strategy that the government has set forth which uh, has various components that involve um, at least two ministries. Um, and I think the global talent stream is what uh, Service Canada calls the, the aspect of the global skills strategy that deals with uh, labor market impact assessments. So I think that's where the difference in terminology uh, fits in, but uh, it's all the same thing as, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Okay, so when you're assessing whether your um, employer or your applicant um, could be eligible to apply for um, either an LMIA uh, under the global uh, skill strategy, the global talent stream, or whether they um, could qualify for the two week processing, which we will also get into, keep in mind the following guidelines. Um, the client, the employer, uh, sorry, the foreign worker themselves will have to have at least five years of full time experience in their field. 